watching Times Now Live. I'm Kritsween Walia. Before we take you through the latest coming in as far as the Supreme Court hearing on Gyanwapi case is concerned, we first up begin with the top 50 stories from across the country and the world. Supreme Court in an order stays the conviction of Congress leader Rahul Gandhi in the defamation case over Modi surname remark. After Supreme Court staying the conviction, Congress MP Adhiranjan Chaudhary states that Rahul Gandhi will come like a storm and Narendra Modi will need to be cautious. Adhiranjan Chaudhary requests Lok Sabha Speaker to reinstate Rahul Gandhi's membership as soon as possible. Priyanka Gandhi thanks the Supreme Court for fair judgment in the defamation case, says the truth cannot be long hidden. The complainant in Rahul Gandhi defamation case, Purnesh Modi, says that the legal fight against Rahul Gandhi will continue. Amit Tight Security SI survey is currently underway at the Gyanwapi complex. The survey was halted in view of Friday press. 40 SI officials present to conduct the survey team split into two for mapping and documenting the mosque complex area. Muslim side boycotts the SI survey which is being conducted inside the Gyanwapi complex. Supreme Court hears the Muslim side plea challenging Allahabad High Court's order permitting for ASI survey of the Gyanwapi Mosque. 55 FIRs registered after violence marred NU. 141 people have been arrested so far. NU SP Varun Singla has been transferred and posted at a, as SP Bhivani. IPS son Narendra Bijar, Bijarnia has replaced him as SP NU. Police personnel continue to remain deployed in parts of Gurugram in the aftermath of violence that broke out earlier this week. Following the violence in Nu and several other adjoining areas, FR has been lodged against Bittu Bajrangi for posting provocative video on social media. In a heartwarming video, Manipur women in a protest along the NH2 against the plan of Assam Rifles were drawing from the buffer zones in the district, thanked the Indian Army and chanted Assam Rifles, don't leave us. In a major crackdown against illegal structures, Haryana administration bulldozed settlements of alleged illegal immigrants in Toru of New District. A day after Delhi Services Bill was passed in Lok Sabha, Madhmi Party MP Sanjay Singh says that the bill will not stand the legality test in the Supreme Court. Bharatiya Janta Party issues three-line whip to its Lok Sabha MPs from the 7th of August to the 11th of August, asks them to be present in the House and support the government's stand and the bills. Delhi High Court issues notice to the Centre, Election Commission and several political parties on a PIL seeking direction to opposition political parties to prohibit the use of acronym INDIA. The Supreme Court will hear the case on 31st October. Maharashtra Anti-Terror Squad has arrested five people in connection with a conspiracy to carry out terror attacks across the country. Violence broke out in South Kolkata after a seven-year-old child died in a tragic road accident. Protesting people set vehicles on fire and blocked roads. A shocking tragedy unfolds in Noida. A 73-year-old woman dies after a lift at Paris Thera Society in Sector 137 collapses. Child rights panel takes cognizance of Bilwara horror where a girl was burned in a brick-built chamber. Victim skin accuses gang rape before murder. A dozen of NCC cadets were brutally thrashed by a senior on campus of uh, Vidya Rasarak Mandal in Maharashtra Sthane. The video has surfaced on social media and has gone viral. Shiv Sena's Vidyarthi Sena stages a protest against the administration and protest against the thrashing of NCC cadets at Joshi Badekar College in Thane. Hyderabad Congress workers stage protest against government demanding to provide assistance to the flood affected people. After an intense five-day search operations, the police have finally located the army Jawan who had gone missing from Kulga. Jawan underwent a medical checkup before uh, being interrogated by authorities. BST contract workers are on a strike demanding a salary hike. The strike affects commuters in Mumbai. SCST fund diversion row escalates in Karnataka. BJP stages protest in Bengaluru against Sidharamaya's government. Setback for Manish Sisodia and Delhi liquor policy scam. The Supreme Court refuses interim bail to him, will be hearing regular bail plea on the 4th of September. Rain pain grips Himachal Pradesh, close to 200 rain-related deaths have been reported and 31 people have gone missing in over 41 days since the onset of monsoon in the state. Manadi River overflows in Odisha's Katak due to heavy rainfall. NI raids underway at various places in Jammu and Kashmir's Pulwama district in connection with terror links and terror funding cases. 
MV leaders to hold a meeting in Mumbai tomorrow. Dav Thakre, Sharad Pawar, Nana Patole set to attend the meeting. Narcotics cell inter intercepts a vehicle on NH16 near Ankurati Saraswati Bridge, apprehends two people and seizes approximately 164 kgs of cannabis. Tomatoes have been removed from Punjab Governor's Raj Bhavan menu in response to Chandigarh's soaring tomato prices, which have reached 200 rupees per kg. Supreme Court stays order of the Port Blair bench of Calcutta High Court by which it ordered suspension of Chief Secretary Keshav Chandra of Andaman and Nicobar and imposed a 5 lakh rupee fine on the Lieutenant Governor. Two students of class 10 died due to drowning while taking a bath in the Kundeshwar River in Tikamgarh district of Madhya Pradesh. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin congratulates chess grandmaster Gukesh D. on becoming the highest rated Indian player. Agnivish participated in passing out parade at ASC Centre and College in Bengaluru. Pakistan Prime Minister Shahba Sharif announces dissolution of National Assembly on the 9th of August. Former U.S. President Donald Trump leads not guilty to historic charges of uh, leading a criminal conspiracy that sought to defraud the American people by overturning the 2020 elections. Deputy Chair of Russia's Security Council informs that around 2 lakh men have been enlisted in the Russian army as contract soldiers this year. Russian court imposes a 4 lakh ruble fine on technology company Apple for failing to remove material deemed to be false information about Russia's military action on Ukraine. Protesters gathered in front of Public Security Department in Sao Paulo after a six-day police operation resulted in at least 16 deaths in Guaruja, a city on the coast of Sao Paulo. The Panama Can Canal Authority informs that transit in the can canal will be reduced and restrict the size of ships passing through due to an extended drought. 13 people injured when a commuter train derailed in New York City. Two U.S. Navy sailors have been arrested and accused of providing sensitive military information to China, including details of wartime exercises, naval operations and critical technical material. Hundreds of thousands of flag-waving young people from around the globe gave Pope Francis a welcome to World Youth Day Festival in Portugal's capital. United Nations Integrated Transition Assistance Mission in Sudan says it is gravely concerned about the severe impact of the fighting between rapid support forces supported by Arab militants and the Sudanese armed forces on civilians in Darfur region. According to a survey, the American economy has generated at least 2 lakh new jobs for a record 30 straight months and the streak is likely to continue into July. In another sign of strength, the unemployment rate is expected to stay at 3.6%.